Hey everybody this fine day. I thought I'd do a little bit of, I, I do piano lessons. I've got a guitar up here. show you a few things that are just kind of interesting. We have 12. Each one is 12, 12, 12 in there, all harmony. So if you hit a, a letter down here, say that so this is D. Okay, and you want to know what's going to go with that. This is how I learned to play. Okay, that seems to go okay. Not that way, but this way. So that means that you can play this, but what other things can you play? Oh, look at that. So you can play these. See how the harmony comes in? And for every one of those chords, you got the same coordination. So you have a chord. Put all those notes you can play along with it. shake it up. So when I shake it up, I'm going to turn off the mic. But what I'm getting at is that if you don't know how to play, you sit down on a piano and just start hitting a few notes. And just take one hand and hit a note, then up here. forth and that's how I learned to play and so I'm going to take and I'm going to play something I'm going to write something for you today okay and that's what it's going to be so there you are I see you anyway so uh, that's what I do and that's what I do for enjoyment it's like writing a book you know you sit down at a typewriter and clickety clickety click or the computer and you got letters up there that pretty soon after about a thousand hours you got a heck of a book and you do the same here and the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And uh, so I'm at a stage in my life where I don't plan anything. Uh, no, I'm wrong there. I plan to do this video, right? So I put the camera up there. Then I said, okay. I plan on making sure everybody can see me. So I turn it on. And then I turn the mic on. I have no idea what I was going to do. Because if I plan something, it creates enough stress, stress to make me make decisions based on what I think. And what I think is a good percentage of what's wrong. But if I combine action with thought, then things happen the way I guess they're supposed to. Because uh, through my life, I've had some hard knocks. And I've learned over the years that it was my thinking that got me in trouble. It was my thinking that got me out of trouble. It was the actions of others that made me get out of trouble. <laughs> and that whole combination was a cluster. And you know what come next. Okay, so 
<clears throat> it's confusing to some people, but I don't think. In other words, you see, I planned out a guitar here, and I got a, a rhythm that I just reached up and hit, a rock rhythm. Okay, it seems pretty simple, right? Well, you'll hear something probably that's not as simple as that, because that will come from somewhere. Because somewhere in my history, or somewhere down the road, something is combined together and is producing this without me using any thought. And the exciting part of this is that just as you're watching me, you have no idea what I'm going to do. And I'm not telling you what song it is because I haven't written it yet. So you're not relying on me to play something you're familiar with. So the excitement should be that something is new coming out of me. And so that same excitement that you're feeling, I feel today. Or in the past, I write a song. I play the freaking thing over and over again for thousands of times. <laughs> and in today's world, I don't remember what I played. I have to record it, and then I have to write score so I can remember what it is. And uh, so things are different. But I am so contented in the life I have today because my stress level is out the window. It's just not, it's not, just not there. And uh, even when things bad happen to me, there's always something in there that brings me an interest to something I didn't know before. Even if I got a car accident, if I'm still alive and everybody's okay, I can look at what's happening there and I can see things that have happened that teach me things for the future. Instead of like I used to do with my hands up in the air, <laughs> using the F word and all kinds of stuff and running around, why'd this happen to me and why are you doing this to me? And I'm looking up in the air, you know? <laughs> so today is, I'm just, sharing this with you because they're my experiences and what I've learned and it's been a hard path and so if you take what I've learned and you experiment with that maybe your life will be a little simpler and I'm going to turn around and do that in front of you with the keys see and it's the same as living and when we walk out that front door we don't know what's going to happen yet we project we're going to the store we might end up in Asia or Japan by the end of the night how do we know <laughs> And it doesn't matter what we're trying to control. It's what's going to be happening uh, because of our actions and because of where we are. So you have all that unknown stuff going on. And that's the same as here. I've got all these keys. And I don't know what combination I'm going to put them in. And it doesn't matter. Because after I'm all done, I'm going to listen to it. And now when I listen, oh, okay, that's a song. What am I going to name it? And then I have to pick a name. And then I say, okay, it's good enough for a song. So I write a score. So I document it. And then I send it off to CD Baby. And I have it produced. And there it is. Got a name to it. And it's a song. And people listen to it over and over and over again. And, uh, but in this situation, I'm creating the song, but I'm not over over in it. I'm just in that free part. That free experience. The fun part. So here we go. We're going to write a song again today, and here we go. And I'm talking a lot because I am. Okay. And I hope you got something out of it. And if not, that's okay. Because like my experience have been, is 10 years down the road, I say, you know, I remember that son of a bitch. What he said, he was right. Or, you know, that guy gave me some bad instructions. But it doesn't matter because we learn from the wrongs and the rights. Okay. Here we go. I'll talk at you later.
Thank you.